Hi everyone, it's Michael. So today I'm going to show you a proof of Pascal's theorem, uh, which is one of the most famous theorems in projective geometry. I've used it a few times, but not a ton, but I'd like to, to use it more and become more comfortable with it. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a proof of it today. So if you'd like to try to solve it, uh, feel free to pause the video. Alright, so now I'm going to go over the solution. So we have six points A, B, C, D, E, and F on a circle. Uh, AE meets BF at G, uh, AD meets CF at H, and BD meets CE at I, and we want to show that G, H, and I are collinear. So it's really interesting. In the very last video I posted, so number 50, um, I solved the problem. So I started out by doing two steps, and then I did a whole bunch of projections, and then eventually it solved the problem. And then I saw another poster in the Art of Problem Solving Forum, and uh, he or she um, did the same two steps in the beginning that as I did, and then they just applied Pascal's theorem. So I was like, wait a sec, did I just prove Pascal's theorem in disguise? And the answer was yes, I proved Pascal's theorem without even realizing uh, that I did it. So I am going to essentially copy the same methodology that I used in my last video. Uh, for this proof of Pascal's theorem. So it's very cool when you find yourself sort of accidentally proving a theorem uh, without realizing it. All right. Um, so I've used Pascal's theorem explicitly maybe mm, three or four times before, but like I mentioned, I'd like to start uh, using it more. Okay. So here's what my plan is. Um, I want to show that G, H, and I are collinear. Uh, I'm going to hide point H for now, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to show that the intersection of A, D, and C, F lies on the line G, I. So that would, that would be equivalently saying the same thing. And I'm going to extend uh, G, I to meet the circle of points J and K. And the whole reason I, I'm doing this is because I want to be able to project uh, lots of things onto the circle. So you'll see why um, coming up. Okay. So I'm going to start out looking at the cross ratio J, K, G, I, which is four points on a line. And, and I'm going to project it onto the circle into two different ways. Okay. So one way I'm going to start with the point E on the circle and project through those four points back onto the circle. Um, and then I would get the cross ratio J, K, G, I would be J, K, A, C. All right. Uh, I'm just going to name the circle omega before I do this. So if I project through the point E onto omega, I would get the cross ratio J, K, G, I is equal to the cross ratio J, K, A, C. All right. But, and then I can do the same thing with point B. So project those same through points, those same four points through B onto the circle. And so J, K, G, I is equal to the cross ratio of J, K, F, D. Okay, so we know that these two cross ratios have to be equal to each other. Uh, J, K, A, C and J, K, F, D. So where do we go from here? Um, well, I claim that if these two cross ratios are equal, it really means that the segment JK uh, and AD and CF have to all be concurrent. So this is very similar to my last video, and I'm gonna prove it in a very similar way. So now that I've projected onto the circle, I'm gonna project back onto the segment JK. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I do this, but so I'm gonna take this cross ratio JKAC, and I'm gonna project those four points back through D onto the segment JK. Um, so I'm going to let CD meet the segment JK at L. And then if I project through D back on the line JK, I get the cross ratio JKAC is equal to JK. Now I haven't labeled this point, but if I did, it would be uh, AD intersect JK. So it would be the intersection of those two lines. And then Obviously, if we project uh, C through uh, D, uh, it intersects line JK at L. Okay, so we have these cross ratios are equal. 
And then if we do the same idea, but instead this time we project through C and we start with this other cross ratio, uh, J and K stay the same. Uh, if you uh, connect C with F, it would intersect the line JK at CF intersect JK, which I haven't labeled. Um, and then also L. Um, so by transitivity, these two last cross ratios have to be equal. And so that means, but three of the four points in them are, are the same. So the last point also has to be the same. So AD intersect JK has to actually be the same point as CF intersect JK. And that means essentially that um, all three of these lines concur. So AD, CF, and JK concur. And by definition, they concur at point H. Um, and so if that's true, then we've solved the problem because we've shown that G, H, and I are collinear. So I hadn't uh, seen a proof of Pascal's before, and I and uh, maybe I just glanced at a proof for like three seconds and thought it was like really hard. But looking at this proof, it doesn't seem super hard at all, really. It seems like a fairly simple idea to prove it. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.